Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a toggle uh, button and also use bookmarks to create a view like this so that you can avoid creating multiple pages. For example, I have created a toggle button over here and what you see, what you're seeing right now here on the page is um, the sales by quantity, by state, by customer, by category and by segment, right? And the moment I control click here, I'm on desktop. So I need to control click to activate this and it changes to sales, right? Now I'm start. Now I've started to see the sales by customer. This is the amount, right? This is the sales by state. This is the sales by segment and by category, right? All it needs, all we need to do is just click on this toggle button here to switch between quantity and sales. Right now, how to achieve this or how do I, how did I create this is what I'm going to teach you today. So let's get started with our tutorial. Okay. Uh, the first thing that we need here is we need these toggle buttons. Now, these are basically images which I have downloaded from Google. I just went to Google and typed in toggle and uh, there are quite a few uh, that came across in my search option over here and I have selected this toggle button for this uh, very tutorial okay so i downloaded this and then what i did was i just used the paint uh, a tool to sort of create two different images like these uh, i'm just skipping that tutorial in the interest of time okay and uh, let us now uh, sort of create a new page and uh, uh, let's get started from there what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy all of these visuals from here okay uh, which to, uh, to, you know to save time i'm not going to you know uh, teach you how to create these visuals because i have already created a uh, tutorial on how to create these visuals and how to use a slicer for date etc in this i'm going to only teach you how to create the toggle button and use the bookmarks right i will link the uh, previous video that i had created in the description of this video you can check that out if you are interested okay now what we will do is we will import the images that we have downloaded right now so i will go to the uh, insert tab click on image and i will uh, import this this is the one image and let us import the second image as well okay we now have got two different images let us just resize them to sort of match uh, what we like okay and obviously we need to uh, you know uh, have the same have both the uh, images in the same position so for that what we will be doing is we will let's go to the view option here and come to the selection okay now these are the two images that we have added okay so let us simply bring it over here and uh, just align this a little so that both are matching and when we are shifting them they both are in the same position all right so let us do that so you let's rename this image here to quantity one of that and the second one as sales okay so when i hide sales i want the quant the uh, when i hide the quantity i want the sales to appear and when i hide sales i want the quantity to appear right i think now both of them are in the right position here okay so let us get started now both are uh, uh, both have been created now what we are going to now do is we are going to start duplicating our visuals over here okay what i mean here is let us copy this quantity by state okay and paste this okay so we've created another visual now and uh, let us put this visual exactly on top of the other visual that we have and let us go to our fields and uh, bring in the sales amount in the quantity field and get rid of the quantity okay so now we have sales by state okay we will do the same thing for the customer names as well we will just replace the visual over here and bring in the sales amount okay let's do the same thing for the other two visuals quickly now what we see is we're seeing all the sales amount here by different uh, categories right okay so now if you come to the selection uh, section over here if you don't have this you can go to the view and click on selection pane okay so you have uh, four bunch of visuals here that we just created which says sales by segment sales by subcategory sales 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 
and then we have quantity 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 okay now it's time for us to create a bookmark okay so let us go back to the view tab and click on bookmarks okay so let me delete these two bookmarks which i had created earlier okay so let us start by creating adding by adding a new bookmark so let us click on add here and let's quickly rename this to quantity okay and let us add another bookmark and call this as sales okay so let us click on quantity now so when you click on quantity you want the uh, sales amount visuals to be hidden okay so we are on quantity now let us start hiding all the visuals which have the sales amount okay uh, here also we are going to hide one of the toggle button over here so we will hide this okay and rest of the quantity visuals i want them to be appearing here when i click on quantity okay so as we see here all of them are in now quantity uh, uh, measure okay and now i'm going to click click on these ellipses over here and click on update okay so this is now updated to quantity okay now let's click on sales right so when you click on sales uh, we will have to do the opposite now we need to hide everything that says quantity okay for example we start from here quantity hide quantity by segment subcategory quantity by customer order date order date we want because this is our visual and then we want to hide the quantity by state okay so we've now hidden all of the quantity uh, visuals over here and now i'm going to go ahead and click on update okay we are now updating the sales bookmark over here okay we, now we've created the bookmark this should now be working okay let us see or test out if this is working right let us click on quantity and see what happens you see the toggle shifted towards left and we now have visuals showing us the quantity okay now let us click on sales now the toggle has shifted towards right and now we have started seeing all the sales amount right now how do we start uh, sort of assign these two uh, bookmarks to this particular toggle button so that when you click on this it will get activated okay for that you need to go to the formatting image option okay so right now you are on sales okay i am going to go to this action section over here and click on turn, turn on this toggle here and then under this drop down click on bookmark okay and bookmark let us assign this to sales okay all right so we've now assigned this to sales okay now let's go to the quantity okay let us select this again turn on the action button go to type click on bookmark go to bookmark and this is the quantity okay now that we have assigned the bookmarks to these toggle buttons let's test them out now let us control click and see that when you when, it, when the toggle goes to the left we we have now started seeing the quantities and when the toggle goes towards the right we have now started seeing the sales okay we can add a little uh, text box to sort of know which side is quantity and which side is sales okay so i need to go to the insert tab and click on text box okay i'm just going to type in say quantity uh, make this a bold and maybe increase the font size a, font size a little okay and just drop this box over here okay so this is my quantity let me just bring this and bring it over here or maybe if you want to just type in full okay let us type this in full and uh, call this quantity okay and bring it over here and copy paste this to the other side and call this as sales okay now when you control click you will see that this side it says quantity if you need quantity bring it this side and then you will see quantity and if you click sales uh, the toggle will be on this side and you'll see you'll start seeing all the sales amount right so i yeah so this is the end of the tutorial i hope you guys have uh, learned something new and you guys enjoyed it uh, please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.